Hi everybody! Reaper's Theme Tweaker has a boatload of settings for customizing your Reaper appearance. And, they're Terra free. In this video, we'll show you the settings for getting Reaper's vertical lines looking good. You know, the grid lines, markers, regions, time selection, etc. We'll also see how they look in the MIDI editor. And, how can you live without a blinking edit cursor? Let's go! To open the theme tweaker, go to Actions, Show Action List, search on Tweak, then click on Show Theme Tweak slash Configuration window. Here are all the theme settings for Reaper, which are for the most part, color settings. For our vertical lines, we'll only be looking at a few settings. To narrow down the list, you can enter search words in the filter box. For example, here are the lines for toolbar. Let's start with our grid lines. Type grid line into the filter to show the relevant theme tweaker lines. The two we're most interested in are grid line start of measure and grid line start of beats. Click on grid line start of measure. Select the color you want for these grid lines. Maybe choose yellow, click OK, and the grid lines at the start of the measure are now yellow. I'm using black for the start of measure. Similarly, click on grid line start of beats and select a color. I'm using gray. You can use any colors you want, but of course, you'll want to be able to see your grid lines. Maybe you have a darker background, so you want your grid lines to be brighter. Like this. By the way, to change the background color of your tracks and media items, type track background into the filter. These are the lines for track backgrounds, odd tracks, even tracks, and selected tracks. And these are the lines for media items, odd, even, and selected. Some of the color settings we'll look at have a draw mode or fill mode value, which is a number below the color. This value determines the opacity of the color. If you set this value to zero for the grid lines, they disappear. So you'll probably want this value to be set to one. Finally, don't forget that your grid lines can be turned on and off with the grid lines toolbar button. Now that we know how to use the theme tweaker, let's look at other vertical lines we can change. Because time runs horizontally, these vertical lines relate to time. Therefore, the timeline is closely related to the grid. So let's look at the timeline. Enter time into the filter to show the relevant theme lines. I like my timeline to stand out and be very readable. So I use yellow for the background and black for the foreground, which is the text color of the timeline numbers. Black on yellow works for me, but use any colors you want. Also, notice the time selection color. This is the color of time selections made when dragging the mouse on the timeline. I use the color cyan. But you also need to check the time selection fill mode line. This is the opacity of the time selection color that overlays the arrange view below. If you enter a value of 1, the selection is completely opaque, obscuring anything below it. Enter a value closer to zero to avoid this. There's also a line for the timeline background and loop points, which is the color of the bar in the timeline between the loop points of the time selection. I use the same cyan color. We're on a roll now. Let's do markers and regions. Here's our project with a few markers. Enter marker in the theme tweaker filter. These are the theme lines for markers. My markers are red with black text and blue edge. When the marker is selected, it has yellow text and edge. I really like the lane in which the markers sit to be obvious, so that's set to white. This also makes the black text very readable. Now the project has a region. Enter region in the theme tweaker filter. These are the theme lines for regions. 
I again use cyan with black text in a gray lane. When the region is selected, it gets brown text in edge. Next, let's look at the MIDI editor. Open a MIDI item in the editor. First, note that the color of the markers and regions is inherited from the colors we already set in the arrange view. There are no separate color settings for markers and regions in the MIDI editor. Open the theme tweaker and enter MIDI grid in the filter. Here are the MIDI editor colors for the grid lines, start of measure, and start of beats. These can be different from the grid line colors we used in the arrange view. For the timeline, enter MIDI ruler in the filter. I used the same black number text on a yellow background as I used in the arrange view. But they can be different if you want. Note that the ruler background also applies to the CC lanes below. Also notice that the ruler text used here, oddly applies to the loop points and the marker text too, but not the marker numbers. Lastly, type MIDI time in the filter and change the time selection color if you want it to be different than the arrange view. Like the arrange view, the lines in the MIDI editor must be visible against the background. The background colors of the piano roll in the MIDI editor are set using these lines, which are easily found by filtering on MIDI background color. There's a lot more tweaking you could do in the MIDI editor, but that's about it for our vertical lines. Enough of the opening acts. Let's get to the headliner, the blinking cursor. Enter cursor in the filter. First, select a play cursor color. I like green because it matches the play transport button during playback. For a blinking edit cursor, select an alternate edit cursor color, different from the regular edit cursor color. In the mini editor, the blinking color is the same, but the cursor color itself can be different. You can tweak these colors forever. But, when you're finally done, don't forget to save your theme settings. Click Save Theme and enter a file name. It might be wise to put your current Reaper version number in your theme file name. Click Save. Then, you can load those theme settings by clicking Load Theme. I hope you found this video helpful. It's great that Reaper lets us tweak all these colors. The themes you're seeing now were all created using only the settings explained in this video. So, get to work and create your vertical lines theme. Or two. Or three. Or four. Or five. Or six. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.